G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm just doing a little fast video for you today. Hopefully it'll be fast, but not too much talking. <clears throat> I did my Starry Starry Night last night. This is it here. And I've got some lovely comments about it because everyone seemed to like the little tiny cells. Um, but they're really nicely formed. They're, they're multicolored. I just did shades of blue with the black swipe. I just used Floetrol and a bit of glue. I'm just working on trying to get my cell shape to stay round when I'm doing swipes. So this one was three parts Floetrol to one part glue. <clears throat> and I think that it's still a little bit thick with that glue. So I'm going to go again today with four parts Floetrol, one part glue. So that's the Starry Starry Night. Still wet. It's just on my little cards that I use. And then I did another one and I thought what would happen if... I tilted once I did the swipe and then I just picked up this cookie um, cooler tray and just sort of tilted them around and got them to stretch a little bit. So that's what I did with that one. Still really pretty. They, they've sort of lost their shape a little bit, but still, it's not a bad result, I think. So, going again today, and as I said, I've mixed four parts Floetrol to one part glue and it's just a craft glue and it's just in this bottle here so I've got it ready to go when I need it. So my colours are navy blue, mid blue, light blue, they're all global and they are three parts pouring medium to one part paint. My black I've made thicker, uh, sorry thinner I should say, thinner this time and I'm going to see if maybe my cells can grow a little bit bigger because where you pour your black over the top and you swipe it down if it's too thick, the cells can't pop through. So I've made this four parts pouring medium to one part paint. So four to one, these are three to one. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over there. Coconut milk hair serum for cells. And this one hasn't got as much, the navy hasn't got as much paint in it. So I'm just gonna put three drops in that one. And I'll put four in the, the bigger cups. This one's 90-30. This one, these two are 120, sorry, these are 90, 30, so 120 grams in total. This one's just 60, 20, so it's 90 grams of mixed paint. There we go. Give that a stir. Dripping. And a bit of a stir, there we go. All right, so I'm going to, actually before I do this, I'm going to show you a couple of my dry paintings before I get started. Once you've started layering, if you're using these cards, once you've started layering your paints, don't stop um, because you know it's cardboard, it starts to warp as soon as it gets wet. So lay your paints, do your swipe, don't muck around too much on it. And if you lay them nice and flat, they shouldn't warp. Some people have said they've sort of warped when they've dried. I have quite a lot of paint on it. Um, and I lay them, I keep them on here, uh, if I can, until they've, they've dried. And they sort of stick a little bit to the bottom and that keeps them flat. Um, I do have to sort of loosen them a little bit to stop the cardboard peeling off at the back. But it seems to work for me. And then after a, a day, I just transfer them onto the greaseproof paper and let them dry on a flat table. So the first one I'm going to show you is this guy. All done. Lovely and dry, turned out beautifully. That was with the Easy Pour mixed paints, pre-mixed paints that I did in blues and greens. So, happy with that one, turned out beautiful. <clears throat> and then I did this purple one. I think I was trying out a new medium, wasn't I? I, was, I think this one's my 321. You can check back on that video if you want to see how I did that one. Beautiful, beautiful cells. Really happy with them. Not too many cells. I've got lots of background. I've got my striation, which I love. Love that cell just there. So that's that one. And then, oh, this may well be my favourite. Not sure. In the pinks and browns that I did. This is one that I really struggled with. If you remember, I had to put my hand underneath in the middle to stretch my cells out because it was kind of pooling. But anyway, struggled through, but it's it's pretty much dry. It's just a little bit in the middle that's a bit damp still, so I won't run my hand right across it. But love those colours. So I'm going to do another one like this, but in blues and browns. So watch this space. Okay, let's get to the swipe. 
So I'm going to, I've got my three colours and I'm going to do three stripes in each of the colours. Doesn't matter how you put them on. I personally like them to be poured horizontally. That way when the colours pull over each other, you get multiple colours in your cells. If you pour this way vertically, when you pull your swipe colour over, you still get that block of each colour. So whichever whichever way you like. I like this. I like the effect of the multicoloured cells. But I have done it the other way as well. So all right, let's go with some navy next. And I'm just swiddling them, kind of mixing them up a little bit as I go. They're over each other. There's no rules on how to layer your colours. You can do it however you like. I did a swipe before over here, so I've just put some paper towel down on my my pedal pad to catch the next lot of paint. And there we go. Tiny bit left in that one. And the next thing we do is just pick up your little cookie cooling tray and move your paint around. Cover any gaps that you might have. You can see the paint's moving really fast. I've got too much paint on there. If you leave too much paint on your surface, uh, your cells will all stretch out of shape, lose their shape. You might end up started with little tiny cells and then a couple of hours later they're huge and they're all joined together and they're all messy looking. That's because you've either left too much paint on your surface or your mix is too thin to hold your cell and they lose their shape. That's why I'm, I'm trying this with a touch of glue just to see if I can help keep my cell shape because sometimes they just do stretch out of shape don't they need to leave a little gap for my black there at the top so if you've gone too far over that's fine just use your finger and leave yourself a little space there okay now my black as I said four parts pouring medium to one part paint so it's a little bit thinner and you don't need a lot don't put a lot on there so if you put a lot on there then you have to drag it across and if you've got too much here, when you're dragging it, it's too thick over here and your cells can't pop through. So just be aware of that as well. Swipe colour should be slightly thinner and don't put too much on. Otherwise you'll get down to here and it'll all be black and then you won't have any cells still down here. So anyway, let's hope that that doesn't happen to me today. Little plastic document holder that I, I like to use. Any sheet of plastic or thin card should work. Just layer that in your swipe colour. Try not to touch all your other colours as well because you don't want to drag those colours over each other. You just want to drag the black over them. So off you go. Once you start, don't stop. Because if you stop, the weight of the plastic will drop down and make a little indentation in your paint. So just keep going. And straight off. That's why I have my paper towel here so I can clean that off straight away and then I just wipe it with my damp cloth and it's pretty much ready to go again. I like the weight of it as opposed to just paper towel, a wet paper towel. I, I prefer a little bit of weight when I'm swiping. Okay, pop that away. All right. Now, cells will pop up on their own, but because I've made my mix slightly thicker with my bit of glue, I do need the heat to bring the cells up. But not too close, because you don't want to melt your cells and make them go all misshapen. So start up high. Go around in circles. Go over once. And then stop wait and see what's going to happen. So give it a chance.
chance for the heat to go through and for that oil to come up and bring the cells with them. Don't go over and over and over and over and over because you're going to make it too hot and you're going to melt your paint. So go on sort of like that and just wait to see what happens. And then after a couple of minutes, if you think, oh yes, I would like to torch a little bit more up here or under the black. Now that black was, as I said, thinner than before, but it's still got a lot of black here that's um, been dragged through. But that's just the look of a swipe, you know. If you don't like that, you can tilt, uh, but then you do, your, your cells may be a bit more sort of elongated if, if you've swiped and then tilted. I'm just going to get rid of that little thing there because I don't really like that. A little bit of black blue paint. Get it off. Get that bit that off there as well. Put some black on and just push it over the sides. And I've touched my very top there and it's gone a little bit bald, so just touch that up. Push that off the side. Okay. There's not much you can do with your very edges here where the plastic's missed. Um, if you're concerned about it, if you want to use your little pour, if you want to frame it once it's dried, or maybe you want to get it laminated and, and use it as a placemat, if the sides bother you, you can just get them cut off. If you go to the, um, the office supply stores where I go, Office Works, they can just cut it off with a guillotine, they can laminate it for you. You can do a set and you can have placemats, lovely gifts, cheap, easy to do. Christmas is coming, we could all give people placemats. I'm going to go again up here in the black, see if there's anything that can come through. As I said, my black's pretty thick there, so I don't know if I'm going to get much more. And just go over here again. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Doesn't look as if I'm going to get much more through the black. There's a few little ones popped up. So, what do you think? I think that's a better result from my first Starry Starry Night. And you can very carefully just lift, tilt a little bit if you want your cells to just grow a tiny bit. But, you know, you, you do look, um, have the chance of stretching your cells out of shape. So sometimes it's nice just to leave them. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't get, when I swipe like this, I don't get, you know, the really definite round cell that I get when I do my flip cups, but I'm getting closer. I'm experimenting and trying to get a little bit closer to that. So let me show you the first starry, starry night. Hopefully I won't drop it. I've taken it off the cookie rack now. And it's just drying on the table, but there you go. So the cells are a little bit bigger and I haven't got as much black at the top. Can you see the difference? So the thinner mix, the 4 to 1 Floetrol is that one underneath. That one's 4 Floetrol, 1 glue. This one's 3 Floetrol, 1 glue. This one for the swipe colour is the same, 3 to 1. This one, the swipe colour was 4 to 1. So 4 parts pouring medium to 1 part paint. So. I think, I think it is a better result. All right, I'll take you in for a close-up. It's okay if I cut off some of that black there, eh? No one needs to see the black. Oops, here we go. Okay. Pretty cells. I like that. It can be starry, starry night number two, or maybe it's more oceanic. Dark depths of the ocean with the little bubbles coming up to the surface with the light shining through as they get up to the surface, they get a little bit lighter. What do you think? You can interpret however you like. Okay, so I'm going to clean up and I'm going to set up for my blue travelling pour. Uh, and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.